It started its journey in Central Florida more than six years ago. Today, a NASA confirmed that its latest mission with Parker Solar Probe is a success. News 6's Mark Lehman explains the record-breaking solar approach. With NASA exploring uncharted territory with this solar probe, there was a lot of uncertainty about if it would even survive the harsh conditions. That question has now been answered, meaning scientists are closer to learning much more about our nearest star. Just a couple days after its record-breaking closest approach to the sun, NASA's Parker Solar Probe appears to be in good shape and operating well. The mission team had been out of contact since December 24th. That's when the spacecraft zipped 3.8 million miles from the solar surface at around 430,000 miles per hour. Then late last night, the probe transmitted back a tone indicating it's in good health. It uh, made the encounter safely, and then so, which is uh, great news for the solar physics community. Sen Chivamogi is a mathematics and physics professor at UCF. He's written papers on stellar rotation, and his mentor was the probe's namesake, Gene Parker. Anything we can send as deep as possible inside the solar corona is all for uh, shedding lights on, on these mysteries. The solar probe was launched from the Space Coast in 2018, but the mission has been in the works for decades. The close-up study of the sun will help scientists better understand how the corona gets heated to millions of degrees, trace the origin of solar wind, and discover how particles are accelerated to near-light speed. For the first time in human history, it enabled us to, uh, to get some basic uh, uh, clues about the, uh, the inner making of the solar corona. Shiva Mogi sees the accomplishment as a big step in unlocking the mysteries of our closest star, giving us a better understanding of the sun's upper atmosphere. The importance of solar, uh, solar, Parker Solar Probe can never be exaggerated. From here, the spacecraft will orbit the sun every 88 days while collecting information. The probe is expected to send back detailed telemetry data on New Year's Day. Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.